In physics, power is the rate of doing work. It is equivalent to an amount of energy consumed per unit time. In the SI system, the unit of power is the joule per second, known as the watt in honor of James Watt, the 18th century developer of the steam engine. The integral of power over time defines the work performed, because this integral depends on the trajectory of the point of application of the force and torque. This calculation of work is said to be path-dependent. As a physical concept, power requires both a change in the physical universe and a specified time in which the change occurs. This is distinct from the concept of work, which is only measured in terms of a net change in the state of the physical universe. The same amount of work is done when carrying a load up a flight of stairs whether the person carrying it walks or runs. But more power is needed for running because the work is done in a shorter amount of time. The output power of an electric motor is the product of the torque that the motor generates and the angular velocity of its output shaft. The power involved in moving a vehicle is the product of the traction force of the wheels and the velocity of the vehicle. The rate at which a light bulb converts electrical energy into light and heat is measured in watts. The higher the wattage, the more power, or equivalently the more electrical energy is used per unit time. Units The dimension of power is energy divided by time. The SI unit of power is the watt, which is equal to 1 joule per second. Other units of power include ergs per second, horsepower, metric horsepower or cheval vapeur, and foot-pounds per minute. 1 horsepower is equivalent to 33,000 foot-pounds per minute, or the power required to lift 550 pounds by 1 foot in 1 second, and is equivalent to about 746 watts. Other units include dBm, a relative logarithmic measure with 1 milliwatt as reference, food calories per hour, BTU per hour, and tons of refrigeration. Average power. As a simple example, burning a kilogram of coal releases much more energy than does detonating a kilogram of TNT. But because the TNT reaction releases energy much more quickly, it delivers far more power than the coal. If delta W is the amount of work performed during a period of time of duration delta T, the average power PAVG over that period is given by the formula it is the average amount of work done or energy converted per unit of time. The average power is often simply called power when the context makes it clear. The instantaneous power is then the limiting value of the average power as the time interval delta T approaches zero. In the case of constant power P, the amount of work performed during a period of duration T is given Given by. In the context of energy conversion, it is more customary to use the symbol E rather than W. Mechanical power. Power in mechanical systems is the combination of forces and movement. In particular, power is the product of a force on an object and the object's velocity, or the product of a torque on a shaft and the shaft's angular velocity. Mechanical power is also described as the time derivative of work. In mechanics, the work done by a force F on an object that travels along a curve C is given by the line integral, where X defines the path C and V is the velocity along this path. If the force F is derivable from a potential, then applying the gradient theorem yields, where A and B are the beginning and end of the path along which the work was done. The power at any point along the curve C is the time derivative in one dimension, this can be simplified to, in rotational systems, power is the product of the torque tau and angular velocity omega, where omega measured in radians per second, the represents scalar product. In fluid power systems such as hydraulic actuators, power is given by where P is pressure in pascals or n per square meter in Q is volumetric flow rate in cubic meter per second in SI units. 
mechanical advantage if a mechanical system has no losses, then the input power must equal the output power. This provides a simple formula for the mechanical advantage of the system. Let the input power to a device be a force F a acting on a point that moves with velocity Virginia and the output power be a force F b acts on a point that moves with velocity V b. If there are no losses in the system, then and the mechanical advantage of the system is given by the similar relationship is obtained for rotating systems, where t r and omega a are the torque and angular velocity of the input and t b and omega b are the torque and angular velocity of the output. If there are no losses in the system, then which yields the mechanical advantage these relations are important because they define the maximum performance of a device in terms of velocity ratios determined by its physical dimensions see for example gear ratios electrical power the instantaneous electrical power p delivered to a component is given by where p is the instantaneous power measured in watts v is the potential difference across the component measured in volts i is the current through it measured in amperes if the component is a resistor with time invariant voltage to current ratio then where is the resistance measured in ohms peak power and duty cycle. In the case of a periodic signal of period, like a train of identical pulses, the instantaneous power is also a periodic function of period. The peak power is simply defined by the peak power is not always readily measurable, however, and the measurement of the average power is more commonly performed by an instrument. If one defines the energy per pulses, then the average power is one may define the pulse length such that so that the ratios are equal. These ratios are called the duty cycle of the pulse train.